back to what's inside. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan. And today we're gonna to cut open the levitating light. The whole theme of this video is going to be around light. <laughs> yeah. So a few weeks ago we told you that we were gonna to go to Iceland. And the cool thing about Iceland is that I have a great great grandfather that actually was one of the first 16 people to come from Iceland and become permanent settlers in America. And the place where they were permanent settlers is right here in Spanish Fork, Utah. And that's what this memorial is. Our video starts at a lighthouse. We're gonna watch an awesome performance by LG TV on about the Northern Lights. And then we're gonna cut open this levitating light and see how it works because it looks awesome. I am so excited to go to Iceland. I think it'll be awesome. So here goes the adventure. Let's get to Iceland. Okay, let's go. We made it to Iceland. It's been a fun day. We flew the entire night and then we rented a car. We went to the hotel and then we couldn't get in yet. It was gonna be five hours till we could get into the hotel. So we went on a drive. We drove three hours out here to this waterfall and Lincoln is still asleep. Poor little guy, he's just exhausted. There's so much beauty here and it's so amazing. It's yeah, almost like I a different love it. planet. It is. On some of the drives, it looked like you were on the moon. We're actually on top of our hotel. LG thought it'd be a cool idea to use their 4K OLED TVs to show the northern lights. And so they filmed it this last winter and now they're gonna show it tonight with a concert. What do you think, Lincoln? How was that? That was so cool. Those TVs, there were so many of them. That it was, was crazy. Amazing. Okay, you've learned enough about Iceland. I think it's about time that we get into this light. And what you came for. Whoa. Okay. Here is the setup. I have this cord that goes all the way over to here. I have all these different European adapters and US adapters that I have it plugged in. And then it fits perfectly to here on the edge of the building. We could probably do this at home a lot easier, but... A lot easier. We're in Iceland. Let's do this. We got mosquitoes coming to find us. Ooh. I got it first try. First try. Whoa. Look at that. Oh man, that's cool. A beautiful view of Iceland. Beautiful view of a levitating light. Oh yeah, how do you turn the light on? Do you touch the thing? I took the sticker off. I think you touch it somewhere. Ah! Oh, that was so close. There's no people down there. Ah! That's what? the light. You touch it. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to touch it in that spot. That random spot right over there. First, that it levitates. That's an amazing thing. Second, you touch part of the wood and the light turns on and off. That's insane. How does that even work? All right, buddy, I'm thinking that we just cut it like right along. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, what was that? <laughs> what just happened? The power here is way too much. I need like a converter. <laughs> we might be going back home. <sighs> might have broke this. So razor blade it is. Not my best tool option, but I'm going for it. I'm gonna cut this wood. Oh, look, cause it's metal. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Such a little kid sometimes. We're making progress, Lincoln. We're making progress. Whoa. Yes, look at that. We're in, I see the magnet part. There's, there's where you turn the light on. Oh, boom. We are in to the magnet powerhouse. Look at this thing, it is intense. We gotta try it and see if it still works. Success! Let's see if we can turn the light on from this. Oh, oh, light still works. How does the power go from down in here Don't. up into there to turn that on? What trips it to make it know, Lincoln? Uh, that's complicated science. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Well, it still turns on. Ow! 
if we got a problem, we can't really get into this guy without, I don't even know how to get into it. We should just probably, I'm gonna let Lincoln destroy it. Holy moly. It went over there and stuck on the wall. Okay, so what did it do? How's the damage? It just bent. It just metal. bent it. We needed more force. Lincoln's not strong enough. Have you ever seen those videos where people like take iPhones and do 100 foot drop tests off buildings? Yeah. Yep. Well, uh -oh. this looks like about 100 feet off the ground. All right, 100 foot drop test to see if we can get inside of this thing. Off the building. Three, two, one. We got into it! Oh, I see it! I can see the inside of it! <laughs> how, how did that work? Okay, Lincoln, run down there and get it. Come back. Okay. Hurry! Hurry, Lincoln! How do you get down there? Just go down to the bottom and run around the building. Go, what run! You're not running! <laughs> I don't know why he chose that way, but I see him. Go, Lincoln, run! I got it! You got it! Bring it all up! Okay. Hey, there's a door right there to get in. Oh. All right, Lincoln, you made it. What do you got? What Good do we got? Size mag magnet. Oh, yeah, there's the magnet. And then a little chip that must be how to turn the light on. So this coil, the power must conduct through the air into that coil and into that chip. I've gotta say, that's I think that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yes! Well, I love levitating things for some reason. It just looks so cool. It just, it just feels like magic. Even though it's just magnets, yeah. I know. People are gonna be like, that's just magnets. It's magic, it's cool. And how creative of these people to get a light, to have these coils, to find a way to turn on. Amazing scientists out there, I love it. This is very similar to our levitating speaker video. So if you haven't seen that, we'll put a link in the description. We have a second channel where we're going to do some behind the scenes, Q and A's. Some random and very funny things. We do some goofy things when we travel. So we'd it's love true. to share that with you guys. You guys have really asked for it. What we'd like to do first is have a Q and A. So if you can, go in the comments below if you have some questions that you've been wondering for the last year about us, about our channel, about how it got started, whatever questions it is, leave it in the comments below and we will do a Q&A very soon on the other channel and answer some of your questions that you leave. So thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon.